right we're on the road going to the uh clean out job try to get this uh kaiser i think it's a 52 would that be a kaiser or still jeep it's like right on the border of kaiser and jeep but anyway check out fred's truck look at all this stuff he's got up here what do you got here we got a switch tail light yeah, maybe. Ooh, ooh, look, a battery terminal in. Oh. <laughs> ooh, a bearing. <laughs> I was in there yesterday. Was it? self sealing for screws. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> See, if you can't find it, just look in Fred's truck. He's probably got it in here. Well, we're going to try to get this flat fender out today, hopefully. We might go jerk on the. Uh... Ooh, look at that. A window sash right there. Put that up in there. Fryer patch right here too. Alright. That hanging down disconnected. Uh, but I don't think it's on the ground though, Fred. It's, it's good, now. yeah. Okay. The tranny is actually disconnected. I wonder if that's worth anything. What do you think? It's all really? seized up. Were you at that you at that sale? Which one? They had all the, all the Jeep stuff? No, I don't think so. Wasn't that down the shore? I don't think I went to that one, though. Okay. Look at this. What is this? A four or six cylinder? Four cylinder, right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, actually, this front end's in real good shape, dude. I know. That's what I told you. Perfect for them guys. Yeah, yep, for that monster yeah, truck they want to build, right? And it's the pointy one, just yeah. like mine. I believe this is a Kaiser, right? See the difference? Yeah, yeah. That's what uh, Polo was saying. Yep. The pointy one. Yeah, swing around. I'm gonna back over here. We're gonna we're gonna try to. You want to try to nudge that C30? We're trying to know what we're dealing with. I hear you. I know we can get this in the next 15 minutes. Yeah, exactly. It is in surprisingly really good shape. There's really no rot on the hood at all. We got a couple guys that want to buy this front end for a. Uh, a monster truck they're building or something he said he wants this Willie's front end so that might be a good sale this thing's like barely even on there I don't even think that engines held in there it's just sitting on wood it looks like hmm hopefully it stays on there till it gets on the trailer I think we're gonna hook the winch to this and see if she'll see if she'll at least start to move See if she's all locked up. Oh man, it is soft back here. I'm sinking. Oh, you hear that? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Jeez. Fred's got all the good shit. This old military strap here. <laughs> Where do you think about hooking this thing to? Up around to no itself. It's possible, preferably the rear, because that way it'll pull the rear up. I got you. Anything to hook that to back here? Hmm. Like the spring. Hmm. Will go. It won't go around that box. It'll go around this though. Yeah, that is. You can't go around the spring. Don't lose your one loop. You, you got one loop down there. Nothing pointy around here at all, huh? I don't think so. If this goes through here, good. Look. Let's hook it up. It'll be all right. There you go. All right, C30. You better cooperate here. Ready? Come on, C30. making noise but not the stuff we want to make noise. What? Well yeah I can keep going but it's pulling you back. Yeah she's in there. 
that thing doesn't want to freaking budge, man. She's been there for 40 years and she wants to stay. All right, we moved the strap to the other side of the rear and we're gonna give it another tug. It did move a hair. Ready? Thing is in there. Well, let it out. Movement back there. I didn't see nothing. Go for it. This thing's she's she likes her home. She likes where she's living. Wow. There must be a tree under there. There's gotta be something going through those wheels or something. Fred said this is probably the first thing he's ever hooked to he can't move. Try to give it a second, let the strap keep pressure on it. Come on, baby. I think we ripped that little piece of metal off, right? We had it hooked to like a one inch, one inch strap of steel and it ripped it off. Oh well, maybe we'll make another plan of attack. Something's gonna have to give here. First time you met your match, Fred? I'll tell you what, boy, <laughs> I've never seen one I couldn't move. All right, it did, yeah, it ripped that. Look, it ripped this piece we had it hooked to on, but that's a little piece of, actually broke the weld. Did the tires move at all? I think we didn't, uh, I don't know, Fred. Maybe this thing. an inch. An inch. And it stopped. Oh, man. Normally, you, you just drag them, you know? Yeah, normally, but, man, she's in here. This sucks. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to keep... But, but like you said, once it freezes the next couple days, we're going to be screwed till it thaws out again. Yeah, like high boy jacket. Well, I'll just put my floor jack under there and see if we can pop it out of the mud. <clears throat> you want to jack the front up, you think? Or the back? Both. I want to get them free. Yeah. I'm going to bring my jack down and see if you can find it. All right, I guess we're going to try to jack it up and see what happens. Come back. Rain starting now, but Fred made a valid point. We got to get this thing to somewhat move, even if it's only a couple inches, because you can see the gap in the front tire there. It did move one inch, right? <laughs> but if we can get it out of the suction, you know, when it freezes up in the next couple days, we might actually be able to get it out of here because we're just going to load this thing with all the heavy iron we can find. Are you face timing this with the, no, with your buddy? No. Yeah, you know, that won't work. I don't think you can try it. And you get the A arm. Yeah. You're free. Free to lose. Maybe you'll get the height. I hear that tree. It's the mirror, huh? Oh, I think the jack's maxed out. Yeah. Yeah. 
You want to pull up like that with the gas under you? Get under the controller. Alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. It don't help that there's like everything in the world buried here, right? Yeah. Come down. Now you gotta tighten it more. Oh, there you go. Further, but we're gonna get it. I don't know, Fred's maxed out. The jack's maxed out. Try, try tightening it some more. Are you serious? Yeah, try tightening it. What the hell is in there? There we go. There we go. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Ram a board up there we go. Right um, you can put that bed steel on there. Yeah, yeah, if I can get a piece out. Man, there's something different on that. that roof. I definitely should have wore boots, Fred. Yeah, I'm out here in sneakers. Like yeah. Me. Out here in sneakers like a Maltney. Hold on. There you go. What do you want to do? Go under that? It looks like somebody tried to do this before. You see the plywood under there? Yeah. How about if we do that piece of steel? Uh-huh. Yeah, I'll get it. Okay. I'll get the other one. All right. We got this side up. We got a metal and a brick. I'll bring this metal. Thank you, Jack. Fred said the ball joints are bad, so it's junk. Get it. Get your money back. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Wait, wait the opportunity. Wait the end of the jack. What? That's feeling weird. Should I get something to put under that tire? How about that board right there? Where? Two by six. Yeah. Yeah. Probably gonna snap it. Uh, whatever. Probably high enough. Okay. Okay. Find another board for the other side. Trying to come off the jack now. Yeah. All right. You're about to slip. You should have got on that bolt there. What do you think? Just jam it under there. Can you kick that with your? Steel toe? You're gonna slip off here. Fred, you got me sweating. Personal problems. <laughs> you know, two personal problems. Yeah. Personal problems are some thing of the past. Mm -hmm. My wallet's a little light, too. That's a personal problem. <laughs> I think you gotta tighten it. I think we're gonna have to get a new Harbor Bay jack. Yeah. I think this one just got pussied out. Uh huh. We're getting there. We can get some wood under here. Maybe she'll at least start dragging. I think it was tying up on this old tree over here, too. There you go. Yeah. All right, you can get it under there now. No? Uh, look at this old tag. 1955. Oh, cool. NJ. We got to get that off of there. It's got to go on the wall, huh? All right, let's see it rip the leaf spring off. Hopefully not. <laughs> you want to go hold the brake? All right, we got the cable all the way to the left of the winch. Yeah. I can't even tell if it's moving or not. Oh, I think it is. Yeah. Let me go down and check it. Let out. All right. Yep. Let out. I think I think it started to move. There's steel all over the place. We're gonna be finding it in the ground everywhere.
don't want to burn this winch up either. Cable's getting buried on the one side again. All right, let out. What? Where, where does it get buried? Over here? It was all the way over. Oh, yeah, it was. it was. Yeah. You want me to keep keep your foot on it or something? Uh, hold it, hold it in the middle again, and I can come in more. Okay. All right. Sixth attempt. <laughs> Cable's binding up on this okay. side. All right, let's get it. Back. Oh, I didn't want to move. I didn't want to move, but I did. Too late. <laughs> Ready? Did it move? Really? <laughs> this is going to be an issue, huh? Yeah, we're touching the tree back here now, though. Well, it moved four inches. Oh, four it inches. Moved six or seven inches. So I guess we're on the move. <laughs> yeah. It's just super loading that winch up. Yeah. We're still in, we're still in the structure up here. We didn't rise up on the plate. The plate went down. Yeah. This one over here. Still haven't broken the mirror off. No. <laughs> Is that actually grown in the tree? In the tree yeah. I gotta go look at that before it does get ripped off. That's it. that's what's holding it, Ben. <laughs> you want to try to cut it off? It hey, go grab your grinder. We'll cut it off. That's crazy. You think it's gonna rip it off? That thing is legit in there. <laughs> Hold your ears, people. Believe it or not, people, look how much that moved. That's actually what was holding it, was the mirror. Wow. As soon as I got through it all the way, it went pop, and look, it moved back like, what? four inches three inches that is crazy this thing's gonna come right out now watch all right let's see now that the mirror is disconnected if something happens. steering wheel works <laughs> I think it's 
That's your exhaust. Yeah. yeah. Good? I thought we were just going to try to get this Kaiser out, but Fred made a point. We should try to at least move this thing before it freezes, so that is a good point. Because once it freezes, the rest of the shit we could probably pluck out, but that thing that thing was in there. And really, it was, it was that mirror in the tree that was really holding it. That's crazy. Yeah, that thing looks like we're going to get away with a fight now. Nah, it's going to fight us, that's for sure, the whole time. Nope. Moving the block? Yeah, it's pushing it, it in the ground. Hit it again. 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 Keep going, do I go? Hold it. Yeah, I got you. We had we uh, repositioned the chain, hooked a, a J hook to the in between the two dually wheels in the back, and then ran a chain up to the front on the passenger side to try to pull the uh, the back of the truck to the left. Out. Six inches at a time, right? Don't get squidged. I forgot about the door, yeah. Alright, hold on. Alright. Alright, we're going to hook it to that loader and pull the loader off it because it's starting to get tangled up. We forgot about the driver door and it started pinning against the tree and then we realized it. We had to take this big bar that Fred's got down there and pry it off the tree. See if we can roll that thing over. There 
go. We're pretty much maxing out here. Definitely a two-man job, that's for sure. Fred's running that strap under the truck and hooking it probably to the front control arm or something up there. And we're going to straight line pull it and get it up this hill a little bit. That way when we come back, it'll be a lot easier for us to get it out of there. The rest of the stuff's pretty loose. This thing was like the worst thing stuck in there, so... Keep going. There's nothing left of that cab. All right, we're, up, we're topped out. 
All right, one casualty. We lost a pin to the shackle. We're gonna have to find it. Well, Am I still hooked to the front now? yeah, yep. You want to just leave this strap on it till we come back? Yeah, yeah, might as well. I was thinking about wheeling it out of here, pulling on the trailer. If that's what you want to do, if that's what you want to do, let's do it. But I, you don't, it. don't you think we should leave it here and load it up? You know, yeah, uh, I guess we're not getting that on it, huh? That's for sure. We can't yeah, pick it up. A, that's a, that's and all the anything that's loose is well, just going to well, be. That's why it always good pay to make decisions to make decisions yeah. what you have to do. Like dead drag it. We'll come back and dead drag it on the trail. Yeah, but yep, we can't yep. today because we're putting this on. Exactly. All right. So you want to just go all the way with this one today? Well, I'm looking at it, thinking, is there anything we can really put on there? Not really. Not, Not really. really. Not that's going to stay on there anyway. And we're going to make light loads and heavy loads. Yeah. Yep. So yep. we just took this the red line and be done with it. They're going to even take this red line? I don't know. He might. Bruce might take it for me. I'm pretty sure they'll take it. They'll just get friendship to come scoop it with one of the tow trucks, you know? We can get it up the hill. We'll go, we'll go get it from over poor, there. Poor old Chevy, man. This dashboard's sweet, though, still, Fred. That'd be sweet in a rat rod, huh? I probably should take a picture. That should probably be the thumbnail. I guess the plan is to get this thing on the trailer and take it in, try to get some of our money back. We might get, I don't know. We might be get most of what we gave her back. It'll be close. Come back another day for that Kaiser. Let everything harden up out here. <laughs> it, it, I don't think it's been turning the whole time. Well, took longer than I anticipated, but we got her on there in all her rusty glory. <laughs> There's guys that pay for paint jobs like this. All right, yeah, we gotta strap the doors together because the whole the whole cab's rotted. Yeah, hold on. You wanna go to the bottom one? There you go. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Come back for more shenanigans. We'll be back in a couple days to try to drag some more of this crap out. All right. I don't know how much the camera likes the water, but... <laughs> All right, later.